Hi, this is Rachel with Mama Four Boys, and today we're going to make honey, honey and mustard glazed chicken. So I have a half a cup of honey I'm going to put in my pan. I'm just going to melt some of these things before we put it on our chicken. We have a whole chicken over there. I think it's three pounds, but... Okay, here's um, a package of sassone. Oh boy. It's just, I don't know how much they weigh. Little one. Okay, and we need one tablespoon of ginger. I'm making double the recipe because I don't want to, I want to have some gravy for an extra sauce of ours. Um, we have the ground ginger and uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm going to use the rest of this bottle up. Oh, I don't think there was that much in there. So, we'll give it a little splash of this one. Okay. And then we need, what is it, four tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Oh, that's coming out liquidy. Just open this. French's Dijon mustard. So. Yeah. I did squeeze this thing. Okay, and I, it said to add um, vegetable oil, but I'm going to add real butter, it's salted butter. And then, okay, and then we're going to use about a tablespoon of this salt and pepper, the buttery steakhouse rub from Kinder. And then give it a shake in there. And we're going to mix it together, and we'll be right back. Tommy's going to get the chicken together to put in the um, air fryer. Hi, welcome back. We're uh, getting ready to uh, put our chicken in the Power XL fryer. Uh, we talked to our, our good friend Rick at Cooking with Rick about this. I'm going to put an onion inside of this chicken just because we like to do that. We like the way it adds flavor. Uh, we're going to put some carrots on here like this. They will cook up. Alright. And I get asked a lot of, all the time about uh, uh, where I get these black gloves at because they work so well. I never get anything on my hands. They never tear or anything like that. They are uh, this brand here. KKD disposable nitrile gloves. I get the extra large ones. There are a hundred of them. I get them off of uh, Amazon. They're about, I think they're about $15 a box, but you can get them on sale sometimes. But uh, anyway, I always uh, get asked about that. So when I was putting them on, I thought I would say that today. Okay, I'm gonna grab the sauce. So we're gonna pour the sauce over top of the chicken. And then we're going to set our cooker. All right. I could just dump the whole thing, but then uh, there might be areas that don't get any of this, so I'll spoon it on and then I will dump the rest in. And well, then we'll probably be basting this uh, in a little bit. We're going to cook this at 325 for 40 minutes in our Power XL. Um, I'm excited to cook with this and see how this turns out. I'm sure it's going to be lovely. All right, let me just dump the rest over with this. It's looking good. It smells amazing. 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna uh, take my kitchen gloves off here. Okay, we're gonna close it up. All right, we're back, and we have our chicken inside uh, with the carrots and the sauce on it. And so now we're going to, uh, you turn the knob, and that lets you select which which uh, menu one you want to get into. So I'm, I'm selecting bake, it's flashing. The next section I want to get to is temperature, so you hit temp, and that uh, makes that flash. Okay, so it's 325 is the, is the temperature. And the next thing is time. And we're cooking this for 40 minutes, and there you have it. And all you do after that is hit start, and it will preheat. And uh, so we will see you uh, soon. All right, welcome back. We are uh, reached our cooking time. Hi, honey. We'll check our temperature. 162 there. 165 there. It's going to be the same all over. All right, get the piece out and give it a taste test. <laughs> Cut right into it here, take a look. Oh yeah, look at that, how juicy that is. Look at that. Go ahead and cut a piece off. Are you hungry, Isaac? For myself. You're gonna have food. Very good. Probably using a bigger fork than what I need, but uh, I'm putting another one more slice here. Yeah, one more slice over here. There we go. Mm, look at that. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna get some rice and, uh, and a bottle of water. We're gonna go back and give it a taste. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. Uh, we've just. Uh, Got a little bit of our chicken out of our new Power XL and uh, of our rice and our baby carrots, and I'm going to give it a taste test now and uh, see how it cooks in that machine. It looks looks wonderful. Chicken's very juicy. We got a little rice on there. Mmm, well, that's very flavorful. Let me cut another piece of uh, chicken, and I'm going to have some carrots with it here. Carrots or the carrots are just perfect. Uh, uh, they're not cooked to oblivion, or they're just like mashed carrots. You can hear there's still a little bit of uh, a little bit of resistance going through it, which is which is great texture to eat with. Thank you, honey. And uh, so let's give it a try. A little, a little bit of the rice, a little chicken, and a little bit of carrot because I like everything together. Mmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. The, the, uh, the, the, the broth that's on it that Rachel made is absolutely wonderful. Um, just gives the chicken a great, robust flavor. Um, let me try another bite. Mmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, we do want to say uh, hi while, while I'm eating this to uh, our friend Rick at Cooking with Rick. Uh, would you please uh, go over and visit his channel? So, like and subscribe to his channel as well. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, we like Rick very much. Uh, and so having said that, I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of my dinner. And uh, until the next time we see each other, make this for your family. Tell your friends about our channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great rest of your night. God bless. Lululu. <laughs> Ready? Wee! Helicopter head.